Welcome aboard this live launch with Hunky Dory TV. The crafting captain has turned on the fastened seatbelt sign and we are now cleared for takeoff. In preparation for launch, please ensure all of your troubles and worries are properly stowed. You won't be needing those today. Our flight time will be a craft filled 60 minutes or more and the Hunky Dory crew are now ready for departure. At this time we ask you to sit back, relax and enjoy our video presentation. Live launch takeoff in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have live launch liftoff. Good morning crafters and welcome to Air Hunky Dory. My name is Captain Dan. Yes, I will be your captain for this flight today, but I'm not alone of, uh, today, of course. Uh, we have co-pilot Emily in the corner. Say hello, co-pilot. Hello, Captain, that's right. And in charge of uh, light entertainment, um, snacks and other good things, uh, a lady needs no introduction. She has very fancy pants, although not today. She's wearing a dress. It's Natalie Musprat. Hello. I hope no one wants any snacks today because I've already eaten them. Oh, um, Nat. <laughs> what would be your snack of choice, Natalie? Mmm. Oh. Mine's always Pringles on a plane. I don't Do you know, know why. What? Yeah. I don't know why. They, they're easy they're though, aren't they? They are easy, aren't they? And you just put the lid on and you can put them away where if you have a crisp packet, you're holding it for hours, aren't you? Waiting <coughs> for someone to come past and It's very it true because these days they don't seem to have, although we do on ours, obviously, those little things in front of you yeah, no. where you can, what they call it, they don't have them, they're gone. And all the reading material's gone. I don't understand it. Cost cutting, I think it is. Well, there'll be no cost cutting here today on Air Hunky Dory. Uh, what are we doing today? Do we have a show plan? I'll have to apologise, I've just walked in the room about... <laughs> Literally two seconds ago. Genuinely, about a minute ago. So, um, I was meant to be on the show yesterday, uh, and Maximilian had come down with a cold, and he started coughing a bit. His temperature wasn't up, but because there's so much capacity test-wise, we got him a test, and it came back negative this morning, uh, within 24 hours, so that was That's very really, fast. really, really good. It was really fast. And then you literally just got dressed, because you so, were So, honestly, because not. I was doing what, I'm going to offend half the nation right now, I, I was doing exactly what all the people who are working from home are doing right about now, and I was sat there in my underpants on my computer. <laughs> yeah, that is exactly what was going on. String vest, underpants, String and I had to <laughs> throw some clothes on as quick as I could to get here. Um, in time for takeoff, because uh, once those doors are closed, they do not let anybody else on the no, plane, do they? No, not at all. It's very true. So, uh, what are we doing today? Let's go through a little bit of due diligence. Um, first things first, Black Friday deals. Make sure to check out hunkydorycrafts.co.uk for our Black Friday deals. We launched new Black Friday deals yesterday. Um, mm. Sheila did them. I was really jealous, actually. So I was sat there watching from home. Um, but the True Blue collection is in the Black Friday deals. It's £9.99. Is that right, Em? £9.99. I think it's £9.99 on True Blue. Absolutely amazing. Um, if it hasn't sold out yet, it's going to be on its way out because that is a cracking kit. I saw lots and lots of messages of people saying that they picked up their kit um, or, or that they'd already had that kit and it's one of their favourites, which is lovely. Uh, loads of other items in the uh, Black Friday. I think we've got over 50 or so have sold out already. What? Um, yeah, I know. And there's, there's, there must be 300 items now or something like that uh, in that Black Friday, in those Black Friday offers. Jump on the website. Um, they're only there while stocks last. So pick them up while you can. If you see something that you fancy, grab it. There are deals up to 17, 80 percent off There's on so there. So many aren't there? deals. So many deals. Absolutely love it. Sorry. A uh, little bit of wind because I've had a, a, a diet <laughs> Pepsi just as quick as I could, just to give myself a little bit of fragrance in the morning. Um, <laughs> that's the wrong word. Uh, energy. Energy. Well done. Every order placed during our Black Friday event will automatically be entered into our prize draw to win our huge giveaway. Badumf. Look what? at that. Okay, so across the top we have two layers or rows um, filled with amazing kits. We've got Eastern Wishes there. We've got uh, the Floral Decolage. We've got the Miri Magic, the Land of Enchantment, which we love. There's cutting dies. There's little books. There's stamps. There's loads of stuff on there. Diamond Sparkles. Um, those first two rows will be won by the two runners up. The winner will also receive the bottom row as well, which has more little books on it. It has the full Peony Promise collection on it. It's, it's got loads of goodies. Mm. There's a thousand pounds worth of goodies there. Incre it's incredible. Isn't it's it? brilliant, isn't it, Nat? Every single order that's placed during our Black Friday promotion, which is three weeks long, which I think is super cool, yeah. 
um, is going to go into the drawer for these. And I think my favourite thing about it is as well is that there's no cap on how much you have to spend. You can literally spend a pound. You can get some inserts for a pound and you will be in with a chance of winning all of those prizes. And there are three prizes. Three prizes. Which it's I crazy. absolutely love. Uh, okay, that's brilliant. Win it weekly. Wow, we've got lots going on. Let's take a look at Win It Weekly. Um, this is to win a cracking Christmas Moonstone die. We would like you to like, share, and comment. Um, wow, this is new. This is different now. I've it's not a bit seen this funky, before. This one, isn't it? What tastes better than it smells? Mmm. What tastes better than it smells? Okay, if you want to be in with a chance of winning a cracking Christmas Moonstone die worth twenty-four pounds ninety-nine, there are four winners here. They're going to get picked on Friday on our 10 o'clock Thankcraft It's Friday show. Um, who is on that show? Do we know? Um, I think it's me and Sheila. I think it is you and Sheila, Nat. That's super. Okay, so if you would like to be in with a chance of winning one of those four, we want you to comment or down below on the, on the video today, what tastes better than it smells? Do you have an answer? Um, please do let me know because I really am stumped. I don't know what the answer to that is. Um, that's interesting. Normally we have three... Yeah. We have a bit of multiple choice, which makes it, makes it easier for people like me, who don't have the answers. A lot of people said fish yesterday. Fish tastes better than it smells. Do you, you know, know what? what? That's, a real, that's a good it's shout. True. That is a good shout. I don't know. I don't eat fish at all. You don't? No, I take Nothing. Omega 3, 6 and 9 capsules instead because I don't like, um, I don't like the taste of fish at all. You don't even like a good old traditional battered fish? No. Oh my gosh, Dan. I think if I was going to eat any fish, it would be that. I think, you know, like well, from, a yeah. chip, from a chippy. Yeah, that's but, probably where, because I wasn't, when I was younger, I didn't necessarily like fish. So that's kind of where I started. Now I've, now I've progressed, so now I'm into like <laughs> salmon and sea bass. So would you I eat, like you would those. eat a sea bass? Or yeah. A, yeah, but then I am, I'm also really weird, you know this anyway, um, but I like like really weird seafood. Qu yeah, like quite weird seafood, like the stuff you see on like the front. At Blackpool, or if you go to Skegness, that's oh, you're of talking about seafood. cockles and mussels and oh, yeah. all that sort of stuff, do you? And weird, more weird than you know. Wow, more weird than anybody. No, knows. that's that's not for me. We're all each to our own. <laughs> We're all a little different. Some Most are, definitely. Some are more strange than others. <laughs> you have a cornucopia of odd people here at Hunky Dory, um, myself included. Uh, okay, so we've done Win It Weekly. Um, now sit back, oh I like this, now sit back, relax, and let's take a look at our brand new launch. That's right, it is the launch of our brand new adorable scorable pattern packs. Uh, these are absolutely gorgeous. This is our second selection of pattern packs. I'll move these to the right place. Uh, we've, we had a original pattern packs launch and um, that had some beautiful designs in it, it didn't really it? It really did, yeah. It had um, a gorgeous abstract ombres, which I think was my favorite. Um, but this, these are all brand spanking new. These are designed by a lady uh, called Jen, Jennifer. Uh, you guys will know, and we know and love Jen, you guys will know Jen from her, her launches, the things that she's created. She did Plansettia this year. So you know the Christmas mm -hmm. Plansettia that was super, uber popular? She did that. She did Winter Forest. She designed Winter Forest, which Bohemian I know was... Bohemian Bliss. Bohemian Bliss is True hers. True Blue. True Blue, which we were talking about earlier. Yeah. That's one of Jennifer's, so you know the quality of design. Okay, we've got six different sets of adorable, scorable pattern packs. Each of them contain 24 sheets. And we're going to go through them one by one for you, okay? And we'll start with this one, which is the stunning Animal Prints Pattern Pack. I thought that these felt very, very um, thin. You've given me one of each sheet instead of three of each sheet, haven't you? Yeah. I see what you've done there. Made it easier for me to handle. Um, okay, so you get 24 sheets in each pack. Each of these are £7.99, or you can get any three for £19.98. There is also a bundle that's all of them that Emily will pop on the screen, I think. So if you want all six of them, you can grab that, save £12, £35.94. Let's take a look at these individually. So this is your Animal Prints selection, 350 GSM, as you'd expect from our adorable Scorable. Um, 
Absolutely beautiful, heavyweight cardstock. It's got that wobble factor. It does. We love that. Uh, okay, so what have we got? We've got different types of animal prints here. You've got leopard, you've got giraffe. Yeah. Oh no, that one's not giraffe, because the other one's a cheetah. You've got... Uh, Should we go back? Should yeah, we go let's back? let's start again. Let's Should start we go again. Back? We've okay. got leopard. leopard. We've got cheetah. cheetah. Tiger. We've got tiger, well done. Yeah, that's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't that fantastic? I'll try and bring these. Oh, I can bring them a little bit closer. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? There we go. That's giraffe. a giraffe. No doubt. So good, that So one. these are all A4. As I say, guys, 350 GSM. So they're your heavyweight cardstock crocodile skin. Very nice. No animals were harmed in the making of these card packs. Um, the zebra. 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 Zebra, zebra. Ah, oh, you say tomato, I say tomato. <laughs> Either way, it's fine. Okay, that looks to me like a moo cow, that right? Is. I'm just going to ask these questions, yeah? What is a moo cow doing hanging around with a leopard, a <laughs> cheetah, a tiger? It can chill with a giraffe, I suppose, but it might get stood on. A crocodile? I, I don't, a zebra, okay, that's all right. But I don't think it should be hanging around with the others, do you? Mm. Scary, unless he, he's a butch cow. You do have those little... Um which is a name that you shouldn't call anyone ever. Um, let's pop that down. And we've got Heffalump. Isn't that lovely? So you're going to get three of each of these, three of each of these. So you get 24 sheets in total. Okay. That's your animal prints. We love them. Um, these launched on Create and Craft. Saturday. Saturday. Animal busy. Prince was one of the first to sell out individually. Okay. So I know that this is a fast seller. Uh, we've got enough of these. This isn't something you have to super rush on, but do grab them while you can, obviously. Yeah. But um, our aim is that we hold these for three months. That's mm -hmm. what we want to try and do. Um, the last ones, admittedly, some sold out very quickly. So Wolf's Colour Wash went out straight away, I think. Yeah, um, didn't there's paper and wood as well on the last one. That was lovely. Let's show you number two. Now, the last one was on um, original Adorable Scoreable. This has been printed onto Matastic. Let's get it in the right place again. Uh, now, you should be able to see, it's not as easy to see this because of the uh, the lights in here, but there's gorgeous lace patterns in here. It's a delicate lace as you'd expect. It's your 350 GSM again, uh, but it's on a matte finish, so it sort of absorbs some of that light. Yeah, it's really, really lovely. I think being on matte and it being lace, it just fits so well. Um, and it also means that, you know, if you want to add more color to this, you can do so. You can brighten up the edges, you could maybe just colour over the lace because it's white. It would stand out more against the colour that you already have. So you could get really, um, really do some really fun stuff with your inks on this for sure. Obviously, you can stamp onto this as well, as Nat's saying. So um, this can you can draw onto it, you can stamp onto it, you can do anything that you want with it, really, because it is an uncoated board. It still has that fantastic, adorable, scoreable property of not cracking when you score it with our adorable scoreboard. Isn't that beautiful? It's so nice. I should perhaps be showing these uh, landscape. Isn't that gorgeous though? The lace is beautiful. Let me show you some cards made with these first two and then we're going to go across to Natalie and we're going to see our first demonstration of the day. Are we going to get three demos today? Three demos. Three demos. Uh, first, let me show you the some cards made with the lace connection. So Sheila made this with the adorable scrollable pattern packs. Um, very attractive. So she's, uh, this is just uh, die cutting it with some lovely moonstone dies. You yeah, can see the these heart are, there. These are the dies from our rustic lace collection, which work perfectly alongside this kit. Um, it really, really does. And then she has made this wonderful um, book using some stamps from our um, Everlasting Memories collection. Isn't this beautiful? And using those dies again from that beautiful rustic lace collection but you can see here how using your inks you can give a totally different style um, to to your paper creating like little pockets from the lace elements to put things in you can get really really creative with cardstock and I think that's one of my favorite things about this adorable scoreable cardstock is there's no um, how to's there's no instructions you can really get as creative and be free to make what you wish so, I, I mean, this is absolutely stunning, but one of the things I want to point out in here, if I can, can you see how around the edges it's, it's sort of um, distressed? Mm. That's just inks, guys. You can just use some of our prism ink pads and add a little bit of colour around the outside, which just gives it that aged effect, doesn't it? 
But that's that's because that's one of the clever properties of Mattastic that yeah. you can get into that. It will still score a fault. It's great for for this type of thing, like making scrapbooks with, because you can you can just get so fun and um, creative. Like Sheila's made this one really rustic-y, but you could go the total opposite way, and it could be a really sort of like clean wedding um, album, and you can have sort of your your ideas in, your plans and things stored in there. So with Mattastic, you have so much ability to change it up. But it's really, really beautiful. That's the joy of this construction because it's construction weight as well. Three hundred and fifty yeah. GSM. You can make, you know, it's for making car blanks. But also, you put two sheets of this together, which is what you've got here in a lot of different places. And you're talking seven hundred GSMs worth. It's rock solid. So it's sturdy. It's very, very nice. Um, I'm very impressed with you, Sheila Halliwell. As always, um, let's go across to Natalie and let's take a look at what she's going to do. So we're not going to get super, super crazy constructive straight away. So I just want to show you how easy it is to use these papers to create some really nice um, cards with. Um, something more for the beginners, but we are going to we are going to sort of give Sheila a run for her money today um, because I'm not normally the adorable, scorable gal. So you normally do get Sheila doing all of this, but I'm going to we're going to give it a good go. So first of all, we're just going to make a seven by seven card. Now I've got a piece of black. Um, cardstock, adorable, scorable, so it has that nice satin finish to it again. And then, so this is seven by seven, and then I've cut a piece of gold mirrored to um, six and a half, and then with my leopard print, because this is absolutely gorgeous, um, I'm gonna just take that down to two notches below the seven and a half mark, um, and that's just gonna give me a nice thin gold border to put this onto. So we can add this on now and you can see how that is going to fit on there nicely. I might just trim off a little bit more off this side because it is just slightly a little bit too big on there. So let's just take a tiny strip off. Liz Moore's asked, is there a tutorial available to make the book, please? I think we'll have a look at that and see if it's we can come up with one. It's going to be in our next magazine. Oh, that's lovely. So it is going to be in the next magazine, and you, there's going to be full instructions. Um, Sheila and Anne have worked on it um, for you to be able to, to make some fun stuff there. So next up, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick this down onto my Miri. Just going to give me that nice clean layer. Uh, yes, the clean? animal prints and gold mirror go so well together, don't they? Yeah, I reckon there's definitely some that silver fit more um, nicely to, like the crocodile. Um, but a lot of these sort of brownie orange tones are just perfect for your gold mirror. So let's stick this. Tracy Hunt has ordered her pack. Ooh. Guys, grab it while you can. Uh, they do sell out these. Our aim is to try and hold them for three months. Uh, last time, the what tends to happen is that is that the singles sell out quite quickly, don't they? Definitely. And then what we're going to do? But the bundle should should still be available for you. So is before I put this onto my black, like so. I'm going to add a piece of this ribbon to the bottom half. Well, that really works as well of my oh, of my piece. I've just added um, some tape just to the edges there, which is just gonna allow me to make sure I'm positioning this um, nice and straight across, across the bottom. So let's chop that down and then we can add more tape over the top. So that's just gonna give us an extra bit of um, help with making sure that tape doesn't budge on there. Shelley Yolden says there are six prism pads, ink pads that she needs. She's waiting to buy them all on the six for five multi buy, but there's always one out of stock. Uh, Shelley, we do have some out of stock on the prism ink pads. And if I were you, I'd grab the ones that you want now and um, just pop an extra one in there because uh, it's going to be a couple of months until they're, uh, they're all, all the colors are back in stock. I'm afraid it's, um, it's taken quite a while to get those back into stock. And then we're going to add a nice little ribbon to this. Um, so I'm just using, if you're not super confident with your, 
with your bows you can use our amazing ribbon bow maker which I should have probably used here we have a super um, little bow maker don't we, we do it's great it's super good for using but when you're doing big bows like this you just sometimes just have to jiggle them around so you can get the right amount of the right amount of give so this is going to stick on here like that I've got some I'm going to use some red tape to do this actually um, because you can use glue but I want it to be quite to stick quite firmly so let's just put some red tape into that there so guys, let us know how you are and what you're up to. I can see that Julie Benson has just commented saying that she's watching while packing more boxes ready for her house move. Oh, Congratulations and good luck on your house move, Julie. And uh, super for having you with us, even when you're still even know, when you're packing even boxes when you're and getting packing. ready to go. So let's stick our bow down now. And then once we've done that, I can cut my ribbon because I'm always worried about cutting it too short or cutting it too long. Um, but if you do it this way, you have the sort of freedom to move that about. So we've got that nice bow on there. I was going to add some glitter, but I think I quite like how just striking and clean the images on here. Then I've pick, I picked out two. So I've got for my wonderful girlfriend, because every girl in the world loves a bit of leopard print. Or I've got to a lovely niece. Now... This on here would give it a bit of difference because it's round. We could put it up here. And then this one's square, so it fits in quite nice, but I think that sentiment's a little bit too small, actually. So let's go with that one. To my wonderful girlfriend, me and Anne-Marie are lovers of leopard print. Um, we've also put this love onto little Sophie. So once a week, pretty much, what, pretty much once a week, I get a a picture of little Sophie in a leopard print outfit. <laughs> Do you so really? Last, last week she was in full leggings, full t-shirt, and she had a massive ribbon on her head that was like full on leopard Excellent. print. Excellent. It was the best thing. Uh, but yeah, once a week I'll get a lovely little um, photo of Sophie rocking some leopard print. Uh, Tina Fletcher says that she asked last week if Hunky Dory had done an advent calendar and the answer she got didn't quite help. What she wanted to know was, do we do an advent calendar that you can buy pre-made so that she can open it day by day? We don't at the moment, Tina. Um, there have been talks of it. Uh, it's just about trying to, but it wouldn't be for this year. Um, it would be for next year or the year after. Uh, there have been talks, but it's trying to make sure that we can get it at a price that we think is reasonable without going too crazy. There's... There's some, I think it was um, a Joe Malone one. You know Joe Malone fragrances? Oh, yeah, that that's expensive, that one. I can't remember how Very much it expensive. was, but it was a couple of hundred pounds or 300 pounds or something for a, um, for a, a yeah, an advent calendar. And you get a little something different each day. Or was there a molten brown one, I think? And I thought, I don't know. This is, this is like um, full Christmas present money on an advent calendar. It is, so isn't it? it it's is about getting definitely. it right, I think, isn't it? And making sure that it's the right sort of price and, and really content in there, I think. Let's just use my trimmer on here. Work in progress. So I'm just going to take off this little bit of um, cardstock that I've just got on the edge there. Um, and then there you go. Oh, I think my ribbon's moved. We could put some more glue on there now we've got it in the right position so it doesn't move any further. But just a nice, quite stylish card um, for the one that you love um, in her favourite pattern. Because I'll tell you now, if there's a girl out there that doesn't love leopard print, she's not a proper girl. <laughs> there we go absolutely lovely let's take a look before we do actually i've got two i think two yes two cards to show you from the animal prints because i'm doing it all about to and i'm still waking up uh, from the fact that i've not just got my underpants on um <laughs> jane hewins made this for us with the tiger print one um be wild oh be wild with life can you see i'll oh, be wild and free be wild and free it's brilliant. Doesn't it really work with black tiger print? Oh, it does, doesn't, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Isn't it gorgeous? It just makes the, the colours really pop as well. And we have a 40th card here as well with the handbag on it. There we go. It doesn't say whose this is, uh, but thank you very much for whoever made it for mixing us. Mixing those colours, mixing the patterns together as well on that card, it shows that you can do that and it does work. You it is a thing, isn't mix it? Mix and match all of the patterns together. Okay, next pack. Let's take a look. 
This is another Matastic pack. So this is the third of our six packs and it's our Flourishing Leaves pack. So remember you get 24 sheets of cardstock in total in each of these packs. Uh, you get three sheets of each of the eight um, and there's some gorgeous, I'll bring it forward again. There you go, fill the screen with it. Um, some very, very pretty Flourishing Leaves. Uh, in this. I love the colour in this, this sort of mulberry oh, really nice. colour in the background, really attractive. Um, some lovely uh, little ditzy uh, flowers in there, it's actually upside down that one, I'll turn it that way, that's better. Um, get it the right way up. And then of course I'm upside down with that one, there we go. It's we, so we, delicate these patterns though. It, when, it doesn't really we were, matter does it, you can well, get away with it. When we were looking at, um, at the patterns and which ones we wanted to go in this collection. Um, this one was one that really, really stood out for me. And it reminds me of when you go to a, a haberdashery or a craft shop that sells fabric and they're all sort of lined up in their collections. You could just see this one being, um, it's just beautiful. It would just sit in perfectly. There's so many lovely, pretty foliage prints that would just fit in perfectly in a shop. Sort of a trailing leaves effect there that's so, so pretty. And then a card that's been made for grandma, um, Sheila's made this one, uh, and she's just cut those out and turned them into a little, a little fun wreath there, which is very pretty. There's and some really pretty cards Look at this. that. So that has scrunched up, so it's torn the Mattastic Adorable Scorable and then scrunched it up. There's some um, water been added to that, I'm sure, uh, and then let it dry out. And that's really quite effective, isn't it? How lovely. And then some die cutting um, of, of uh, sort of leaves and sprays up here uh, added to it. Because that's great, These adorable, this adorable scoreable, you can just die cut, you can get yep. into it, no problem. 350 GSM, but still it die cuts beautifully. Okay, let me show you another set of, pat of our adorable scoreable pattern packs. Again, this one, and the next one that I'm gonna show you actually, um, were, were the three first ones to sell out singularly, okay? I think you can see why, can't you? Oh, this one's your favorite. Galaxy Dreams, look at that. A beautiful nebula effect in here. Uh, these are £7.99 each or any three packs for £19.98 or of course you can get all six of them for that brilliant multi-buy price. Um, uh, Emily, can you pop the multi-buy price back up? Uh, there we go, £35.94, so that saves £12. You can get all, all of these together. Remember, you're getting three of each sheet. Look at the different array of galaxies that we're looking at here. I love that. I love where you've just got that bright bit of colour that shines through. It's amazing. Isn't it gorgeous? They're so d deep, they're so moody. Wow. I'm sure that that one should be that way. There's just or even so that way. many That's the beautiful right way, I think. sort of... I don't, I don't know what the word is, but it's, it's just amazing just clusters of galaxies, the sort of, um, the, the, the images that you can only really get through telescopes like the Hubble yeah. telescope, the, you know, the one that's, that's out there orbiting the, um, the planet can pick up these amazing colors. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? So Galaxy Dreams, really, really, really attractive. Um, again, 24 sheets, as we've said, let me grab a couple of cards that have been made. That's quite fun, isn't it? It's really cute. So Kat made this one and she's used our Stitch It um, canvas and that's allowed her to then stitch um, whichever, um, what, what's it called? The star pattern. Constellation. The constellation that you want. Um, so she's gone with this one here, but you could, what, who, depending on whose birthday it is, you could put in their, the constellation that matches with their, um, what does it match with? Match it like I'm Aries, so mine would be... Uh, your star sign. Ah, oh, that's it, the star sign. So, so um, but I think that's... Am I right in saying that's the Big Dipper? Is no. it the plough? Or the... I don't know what it looks like. It, well, it looks like a saucepan, yeah? <laughs> but I think, it's, I think it's the Big Dipper. I'm not sure. People will tell me. Question of the day, Dan. Go on. Important one. Yes. Diane Shaw's new Tunky Dory. Yes. And she's looking for a card that does not crack when scored. Well, we have this. We have come to the right place. <laughs> you, you. Is that a real question yeah. or have you just made that one up? Genuine. Diane Shaw's asked. Diane Shaw, you are absolutely in the right place. Um, the card stock you're looking for is called Adorable Scorable. It is unique to us here at Hunky Dory Crafts. Uh, there is only us in the world who manufactures and has adorable scoreable. It's available in two different types. So you've got the sort of, um, let me find you something. Ah, here we go. So this galaxy, which is a lovely sort of glossy, 
effect, but not, not glossy, that's wrong, it's a satin, satin. so it's in between. Um, but it's got a lovely finish, uh, which is quite professional for your cards. And then also, it's available with a matastic finish, which is a much more matte, so you don't get as much, um, as much shine or reflection in it. Uh, and it's uncoated, this, which means you can stamp on it, you can do all sorts with it, add your pens, um, or indeed your paints to it, and they'll take to it beautifully. 350 GSM is our adorable scoreboard, and it, is, it scores perfectly with our adorable scoreboard. Do you have a scoreboard that you can show people for a I second? I have a scoreboard here. Uh, as modelled by the beautiful Natalie, uh, hostess with the mostest hostess on our live mostest. launch show. Uh, this is the adorable scoreboard. It, it is. Uh, it is an amazing piece of kit. So it you've got inches very, on one side. Very clever. Inches, you've got centimeters on the other. Centimeters. You have an integrated uh, handle for carrying it around. You have an integrated score tool, <laughs> uh, which Natalie is showing you, and we'll pop in with a lovely sound. Oh, it's firm. Take it away with you. It's very sturdy. It can go on your lap. And oh you yeah, can, I do that all the time at home. You'll struggle putting it on your lap when you stood up. But Such a late, so lazy, but I just sit there and craft on it. What you'll love about the scoreboard is that there is a craft mat, uh, a craft mat that fits perfectly within that centre, so you can actually cut onto it because you don't want to cut directly onto your board. Nope. It's made out of ABS, you will damage it. Um, but with your craft mat on, you can do it. It's lovely. Adorable scoreboard is the cardstock you are after. The adorable scoreboard is the, uh, is the tool, tool of need. choice. Um, lovely. Okay, so back to this. Uh, let's take a look at the second one. What a lovely question. That one's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy Mixing fun, though, isn't it? Mixing them all together. It looks amazing. But every single galaxy known to man yeah. all together. All on one card. I like that a lot. Okay, so that's the Flourishing Florals and the Galaxy Dreams. Uh, let's pop across to Natalie and see another demonstration. So we're going to make something um, more construction wise here. We're going to do a little desk organizer. So I've got the Flourishing Florals paper and we're also going to mix that in with the lace, which is a, as well is that matastic. So it's going to fit quite nicely on here. So I've gone with this deep blue with the yellow because it's beautiful. And all we're gonna do is just gonna trim it to eight inches this way. It's just gonna take this little thin strip off. Um, that's just gonna help when it comes to working out all of your measurements. So then I'm gonna score this on the back side with my matastic. Now you can score it either way. Um, I just like to score it on the back because when I fold it, then it's gonna, um, bend nicer. So we're going to score here at 5, 10, we're going to score at 11 and a half and then once we've got that score in there I'm going to score at 10 and 3 quarters. So that's just going to give us a little 3 quarter um, strip here, a tiny strip which is going to attach. Um, so then what we need to do is just bend this and then with the folds at the bottom, we're gonna bend inwards. Then we're gonna go outwards. Then we're gonna go inwards again with our tiny strip. Um, and once we've bent that inwards, let's make sure it's nice and scored. I'm gonna add some red tape onto here. I'm gonna use the thinnest red tape because it is only a thin section that we have here. But that is all that we need to stick this together. So let's make sure that that is all the way across. I'm making sure that it's stuck down really nicely. And then we're just going to trim this off. Take our pokey tool so we can just lift off that red tape. And then folding this down and folding this back. And then going to attach this piece to the end, so I want to make sure, let's just get my score tool again. I'm just gonna go in on those lines, just to make sure that they're nice and burnished. And then once we've got this bit with our tape on, then we should just be able to fold this over, join that together. Da -da. My head might be in the way here, so I do apologise. No, it's not. I think maybe a little too, all right? If I lift it up, actually, that'll help. Donna McMillan there says that go. her late father had a star in the plough named after him. Oh, I love that. Which is lovely, isn't it? I think it's such a lovely gift to get a star named after you, especially if it's something that you can see, because um, then obviously you can, either if you have a, the use of a telescope or you go to a, a telescope place, 
um, you can see it, I think it's really lovely. So now you have this little triangular stand here. Um, I'll hold it that way, you can see, there we go, Emily had it. Um, we're gonna make a front and some pockets. So each side is gonna have um, different things on it so you can use it for different, different ways. So the first thing we're gonna do is this measures five by five by eight. So I'm gonna make um, a little place. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take my this is the lace one and we're gonna cut this to four and a half by by seven and a half and I want to have this lace strip um, here as well. Then I've got some um, little ribbon some blue ribbon that matches the, the base sheet. And again, we're gonna make a little, we're gonna stick this to our adorable scorable. If you're joining us on YouTube today, a big hello from Natalie and myself here at Hunky Dory. If you're joining us on Facebook, a big hello as well. Um, it's lovely to spend some time with you. We hope you're all well. If you've got any questions, please do drop them into the comments. Uh, we'll take a look and we'll see if we can answer anything that, that you that you ask us. So this is going to hold sort of pegs on so you can put like little um, notes or um, things that you need to or reminders that you need to remember. So say you have the dentist coming up or you've got to um, get some cheese for your mum when you go to Morrison's. So we're going to just stick you know, this My mum hardly eats cheese. You love cheese, don't you? Cheese. At the weekend, um, we've had it twice now. So we had a picky tea at the weekend. Which oh, is basically tea's just really good. party food. Um, so we got a baked camembert from um, Aldi. Oh, it was delicious. Last week we had, it's the extra special one. Last week we had the one with chorizo on top. This week we had like, um, it was like a sweet, uh, like a sweet um, relish that you put on top but then it sort of goes really sticky and it, it, it was like Christmas flavours. So it was um, like cinnamon. Oh, oh lovely. it was so good. Lovely. It was so, so nice. I've got a, I've got really into uh, different teas, like loose leaf teas. Oh, I and, love loose leaf oh, tea. Oh, loose leaf teas, all, all I drink at home. It's fantastic. And, um, and I've just got a festive blend oh. uh, just for, you know, for this time. Of year. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I bet gorgeous. that's really it's nice. It's like Christmas in a, in a cup. It's amazing. So this side, like I said, is going to be for your little notes. So we're going to, we've just added that piece on. And then I'm going to pop these pegs on, but I'm just going to leave them off for the time being because we need to do now the opposite side. So for the opposite side, we're going to add little um, little pockets so you can store things in. So I'm going to use again the piece that I had before, hoping that this is going to fit nicely actually. So for this, we need to take it to, and it is, it's going to be perfect. Um, so seven and three three inches. Natalie, Shelley, Shelley Yolden has just put, lines you don't expect to hear in a craft show. <laughs> My mum hardly eats cheese. <laughs> and <laughs> you're right, true. Shelley, you're it's absolutely very, right. very, very true. If, if we had a lines you don't expect to hear in a craft show uh, every week, we should do I mean, that. It should the be a things segment. that there would be it on it. It should actually be There a should. Segment. That's a re it's, in fact, it's a really good idea for a segment. It's brilliant. So I've they do got, it on like a Mock the Week, don't they? Have you seen Mock the Week? Yes. Oh, yes, they do. It's very good. So what I've done is I've cut this down and I wanted to have this um, lacy pattern on most of it. So I've done that. And then we're going to score this at... Um, oh, have I? No, I haven't. We're going to score this at half an inch up. We should do it on this side, actually. It's definitely easier. We're going to score it at half and then one. And then we're going to do that on each side and this is going to make your pockets. So this is one pocket that is going to fit on. And then the next pocket, um, I'm just going to do in the plain blue actually. So this is only using two sheets of cardstock which is really quite um, fantastic to think that you can make all of this from just two sheets of cardstock. So then this is going to be four by three and a half inches. And then we want to do the same again. So I'm going to score it at one. Am I, is this right? I've, had, I've done it the wrong way right? No, I haven't, it's fine. I remembered before I did it, it's gonna go this way. So you want to score it, sort of the portrait shape, you're gonna do it on the side. And then the landscape, you're gonna do it at 
a half at one and then at three and three and a half. And then taking your scissors, we're gonna cut this now into a nice little net. So all the way down both edges. And then we're gonna chop these little bits off. You're very brave doing this live now. I would have cut all the wrong places by now. Well, I do have a little secret. Do you? I tested it before and I did oh, write the measurements well down. Done. Because I knew me, out of all people, would mess this up. So then the same again with this one, all the way to the second line. And then you just want to chop the little square tabs off. And you can see this when you're working, obviously close up to it, you can see where the score lines are. So where you do just need to snip, snip those bits away. And then using our red tape, I'm gonna use the thickest one here. While you're putting the tape on that, I've got a question from uh, Liz Moore with, uh, regarding foam pads and um, she said could we do thicker foam pads uh, which would help when you're layering up instead of having to use doubles. Oh. Do me a favour Liz, will you just let us know That's and anyone else idea. who wants those, what depth are you looking for? Is yep. it four millimetres? Um, so the normal ones are, we do one millimetre uh, depth, we do two millimetre depth as well and two millimetre is sort of the usual go-to to get that, that uh, depth. That you'd, that you'd expect or want. Is it four that you're looking for? Is it double? Will you Wouldn't just, that be good? If you pop on, let us know, then it's something we can look at for you. That would be, a, what a good request. I like that. So I've got red tape on my two side tabs, on that little square tab, and then just before I forget, I need tape on the bottom tab as well. So like so. And then we're going to... Take the tape off the bottom one. Da, da, da. Jackie Bradley says she always drinks leaf tea, but it has to be jasmine. Jackie, you'd be all right at our house because we've got some jasmine tea that we're not having because it's it's um, it's quite light. We like quite like um, you like black head, tea, like flavored. Quite, yeah, I like quite you know breakfast teas and that sort of thing. And I think jasmine's quite light, so. We got it and we, we made it just like we would the others and poured the milk in and it, the colour it turned, it was not pretty. Do you have um, a special teapot? Uh, yes, I yeah. do. We have uh, a couple of them. Um, like, they're um, very cool, aren't they? Uh, they're really cool, they're glass, the glass ones. ones. Yeah, 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 they're very good. I don't have milk my loose Do you not? No. You don't have to, you don't have to, but uh, I... I tend it, to have green tea. Oh, well, there you go, yeah, you wouldn't have milk with that, yeah. Um, we've got a mint tea. That's really nice. Oh, you wouldn't yeah. have. You don't have that with milk, though, do you? No. We've got no, no, no. And we've got um, ginger and lemon, oh, which is very nice. Oh, yeah, that is a good um, one. And we've just got an apple and blackberry one, which is quite nice. Uh, but it's those. Um, there's the, the sort of Assam teas, and those other ones are absolutely gorgeous. So good. Uh, Liz Moore says four, five, and six millimeter would be great. Okay, we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. Four or five millimeter. I think four is probably going to be the. Uh, the trick because then you could if you want six you could put a four and a two together or yeah. um okay all right no worries we will look into that for you do not worry watch this space so then we're taking the bottom strip off and we're just popping that underneath those edges and it's just going to keep it nice and clean and together and then we can pop off our um, strips here. What I am going to do actually, because these are going to sit side by side and I kind of don't need any budging space I don't think I might just stick the two sides together so this is going to fit on here this one is going to fit actually no let's leave a gap let's leave a gap so now we're going to take our red tape off our edges and I'm going to put this one on this side here and I'm just going to use the end of my score tool just to get inside and make sure that that is nice those, that red tape has taken to the cardstock and it's nice and um, firm and stuck down. And then the same again with this little pocket. Now you can make the depths of these pockets as big as you want, depending on what you're gonna um, fit in them. Um, this is just gonna hold sort of pens and pencils, but if you were gonna hold something that was a little bit thicker or you had um, a little notepad or something that you wanted to go in here, um, you could also um, make it the right height for that. So now all that is left to do, so we have this on one side, which I'm going to stick in some 
accoutrement. So I got that's it in right, first. my darling. Pop your accoutrement in there. So we've got our little sticky notes. Oh, let's push that out. And we're going to put some pens in this side. And then on this side, we can have our pegs with our little memos on. So need to make a card for mum this week. I keep knocking it over. Need to make a card for mum this week. Got to do, got to take this person to this place. So you can have all of your little notes and memos on this side. And then you've got on this side, um, your sticky notes to be able to write your notes on and your little pens to hold them on. And you could even put sort of pictures on this side if you wanted to, um, but just something to hold onto the desk to keep it, to keep everything in. And Natalie, you know how much I, I love, love organising. You do, you are an, or an organisation queen. Natalie is a crazy good organiser. She's really, really good. She organises so much here at Hunky Dory for us. Uh, okay, let's remind you of our Win It Weekly question. Uh, let's jump onto this. It's an odd one this week. Oh, odd is the wrong word. I shouldn't say that. Emily chose it. Um, it is It is an interesting and different one this week. What we'd like to know, what tastes better than it smells? And you could be in with a chance of winning one of these. Cracking Christmas Moonstone die. Uh, which is, as you can see, a die that's going to make you some crackers. Uh, isn't that brilliant? So you can create your own Christmas crackers for around the table this Christmas. Um, fingers crossed that you can, uh, we can have all our families around with us. Uh, with £24.99, there's going to be four winners, and we will announce who will win that on um, uh, Friday's show, Thankcraft It's Friday, at 10 o'clock. We have two more of these gorgeous, adorable, scorable pattern packs to show you. Let's take a look at the fifth one. This is uh, the, the other of the three that sold out very quickly on their own. Um, they are available from us here at Hunky Dory. Um, and they will be at other good craft stores as well, uh, and indeed on, uh, at online stores, good craft stores, when they shall reopen. Uh, let's move out that, that out of the way. So, gorgeous grunge pattern pack. Again, 350 GSM. It's your adorable score, but it's the high quality that you expect. It's the matastic. Um, look at this grunge effect. Isn't it pretty? The colours are beautiful. Just as you see them lined up there, something falls off. If you see them, as you see them lined up here, isn't it beautiful? I love it. Um, really, really attractive colours. Yeah, you've got lighter, you've got darker, this sort of, um, what colour is that now? It's kind of a... Um, um, like a, a, a terracotta. Yeah, terracotta maybe. Ever so pretty. Um, obviously, as you'd expect, they become more distressed around the outside. Um, distress, I wish there was a better word than distress. It doesn't sound nice, does it? No, but Grungy. I think it's, it's the right word here, isn't it? It is really, really beautiful. Look at the blue. Especially if you're into steampunk type of stuff, this is going to fit really nicely with that. Anything vintage, it's really working with. But actually, when you put some of these colours together, they can be quite bright. They so you can, can see how this... Um, we've got our beautiful... This is made by Cat Hollis. Um, just some lo lovely, lovely pat um, patterns oh, used in that. here. I, I like how she's um, grunged up the edges with the white as well. So you've got white coming through, then you've got the darker middle bits. It just adds a little bit of something to it. It's really attractive, isn't it? It's very pretty. Guys, if you lost us for a second there, we do apologise. It sounds like we might have just popped off air there for a second and come back on. Um, we do apologise if we have. And this is a lovely box made, made by Jane Hewin. So it, again, it's using this gorgeous grunge. Um, she's utilised the same colour for these uh, beautiful flowers here. And of course, then she's accented it with the... Uh, the green leaves. She's got some ribbon here, which goes super well. It's it? really good, isn't it? So sort of matchy. There we go. And inside, you can pop. What would you pop in there, Nat? Oh, I'd have that as like a little trinket box. Have jewellery in there for special occasions. It's got a I'd, I'd make like a few well. of them, you know, and just store little things in in fantastic little books. I think it's lovely. Way and last, stuff. last but not least, Natalie. Yes. Tis our polkas. It is. Come and join the polka party on polka indeed party. our launch party day. Um, I love the polkas in their different colours as well. So this is really attractive. You can see the different colours that you've got in here. You've got um, uh, lovely pinks, purples, uh, lilacs, blues. They're quite um, soft, so they're going to be perfect for your springtime cards. Let's move that that way a little. There we go. Um, but look at the colours together that really suit. And that's brilliant, isn't it? That's super. It's sort of. A I love that one. It's a confetti is of polkas, isn't it? It's so cool. All different sizes. Remember, you get three of each of these sheets. Uh, you've got your white on mint there, which is lovely. 
You've got your sort of daffodil colour here, which is pretty. A sky blue polka. Oops, I've lost a few there. There we go. Um, this is your, your blue and your pink and your lilac all together. I love that it's a mix of different colours. Of course, had to be there, white on pink, essential. Oh, it had to be. And lovely, white on lilac, but with different opacities. So you've got your full white polkas, you've got your in betweeny with your lilac. Really quite attractive. Uh, just one card here made with this. Let's have a look. You shine so brightly. Let's go over to a lady who does shine very brightly and she will make us another card. I love this. It's so fun. It's so fresh. All the colours are really exciting. Um, and we're going to mix three of these together. So I'm going to make a five by seven card. So first of all, I've got my pink um, and this is going to be my base layer. Um, so let's stick this onto our card blank. I love making things with adorable scorable. Adorable scorable and just like dyes. There's so much that you can do. It's really fun um, to just get really creative and do different things with it. Um, so this is going to be a super fun birthday card. So I'm going to add this to my card blank straight away on here, making sure it's straight. There we go. So that's on um, our that is our base layer of cardstock. And then I've got a strip of Miri, and what I'm going to do is just stick this. Let's stick this down first. So this is going to go on top of my pink here. So I want this pink to be about one inch. So I need to cut this to four. I'm just going to do it at three and four, three and three quarter inches because I'm going to add a little thin strip of Miri as well. Um, so then that needs to be by seven. So now we can add our Miri strip onto here um, and we can work out how um, big we want that to be. So I don't think too much, but let's just get our tape, stick this to the edges like so. Yeah, it's good sensible use of Miri that as well, isn't it? Yeah, I don't want the, I only want a little strip, so I've just cut it um, to be just that size. Sometimes really bling cards are lovely where you've got full sort of um, Miri. And we, we had one up here the other day that was... Um, all Miri everywhere. Yeah, all Miri everywhere. Let me just show this. So all Miri everywhere. And that's just silver Miri, but you can see that it really reflects the light when you, uh, when you emboss it like that. Uh, and it's super, so as a base of a card, it's fantastic. But equally, absolutely brilliant when you um, when you do when what you Natalie's just, doing. Just add it in in places. So I forgot that I was going to add this on foam pads to give some dimension to my card. So I've just backtracked and added them on with these super handy strips. Get my scissors. And then this is going to go on top of our pink. Strips are so handy, aren't they? So handy, especially when they're this chunky because you've got so much room to play with. So this is the start of our card and you can see now how using that um, the foam pads just lifts it off the pink, gives more dimension, makes it a little bit more funky. So now I'm going to bring in some of my stamps and dies and I'm using my birthday combos. I'm going to take the die and just cut it out of this pink. I'm hoping... But the plates are all here. Yep. So let's just put this on here and run this through our Gemini. These large format dies are excellent, aren't they? They're perfect for this type of card making as well because it's quite fun, it's quite funky. So being able to use large dies to fill, fill space and use up the card stuff that you've got, it is really, really nice. So I've cut that out. I need to make sure I get my dot from that birthday. Susan says, lots of lovely demos today, Natalie. You're keeping her sane today. Thank you. That's the job. That is the job, keeping myself sane as well. So then I'm gonna use some white craft glue because I've actually cut this sentiment out twice because I wanted to use more Miri um, just to bring it in. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of white craft glue to my hand so I can pick up 
this um, glue. Because I'm putting it on Miri, you don't want to have loads on the back of your, um, your die cut piece because um, then it can smudge on the Miri and it doesn't look quite nice. So we're going to create a little drop shadow here by just moving this out a little fraction from the piece underneath. Yeah, it's important, isn't it, that, um, Cause I don't, that when it goes down, it goes straight down. Yeah, you don't want to have um, smudges of glue and bits on there. So I've got my birthday ready, and I've already put um, some pads on the back here. So let's just take off the back bit. And if it does lift off slightly, you might just need to add a little bit more glue. But don't worry, because it's not an issue that we can't sort out. Shelley Alden says that she's found the thin strips are great for decolage. They are. Um, so much easier to shape one strip instead of peeling off several small pads. It does make sense, that, doesn't it? It does, it does. So then we're going to stick this across my card and it does fit across the whole um, piece here. Should I do it that way? Should I do it? I can't do it that way because I've cut it. Let's do it. Keep, do it the way you were going to. Keep, keep going the way you were going to. So then this is going to stick up slightly, which means if I get another thin piece of um, the same foam pad, do we have some in here? Might just have to cut a bit down. So I don't think I brought them in with me. We just cut that down so it matches. What I can then do is just lift this up, place that underneath and then just trim that away um, and that is going to give me the correct height that I need to stick that down nicely and it's not going to budge. So there we have our sentiment, we've got the birthday but we need some more words to make it make sense. So we've got some of the blue um, adorable scorable and this is kind of like something that quite a lot of people do do because you can, although you can use Mattastic and you can stamp onto it, you can stamp onto and heat emboss um, onto Adorable Scorable. If you just want to stamp onto it, you can use Stays On um, and that is a super permanent ink. But for this, um, I'm going to heat emboss. So I'm going to use Black Versafine. Just make sure that it's nice and inked up on there. And then keeping this to the edge I'm just going to make sure that that is nice and stamped. You do have to be careful because um, obviously the the adorable scoreable is that satin finish so it does have the tendency to slip when you stamp in so you need to be very very careful. So then let's put this on like so and because I used my fantastic um, I've forgotten the word for it because I used this little thing here um, it just allows the embossing powder to only stick to the, that ink and not to the nice shiny adorable scorable right? no. there we go yeah I've, I've got brain problems Freeze. today I really do so now we've put that on here like so we've got it's party time and happy which we're going to build up onto our card so using my trimmer again, let's just get this out of the way, we can now cut that down. So that's the it's party time. And then let's chop this happy down just slightly. Just move it across. And then I'm just going to use my scissors just to trim this bit out. This has just got my extra words on so you can you don't necessarily need to use your trimmer they don't have to be super straight if you don't want them to be um, they can be as funky as the card you are creating so happy it's party time let's get some foam pads on them. I'm just going to cut this down let's pop this on the back here on the back and then we just need to trim that away because it is a little bit too big and then we're going to pop these onto our card so we're going to put um, 
happy birthday across here and then it's party time we're just going to add to the bottom of this card so it's utilizing three of those really funky colors and then once you've got all of those pieces together just to bring in more of that silver because you can see it in sort of little areas in the embossing pad you've used down the strip behind your words i'm just going to take the smallest um, silver gemstones and I'm going to add it to this background because you already have all the crazy polka, polka dots on here so adding a few more silver elements to this is just going to make it even more fun and we're not going to go super crazy just a few here and there and I think using the smallest ones really fits in lovely Let's add another one here um, and then one more, one more there. Let's add, you could honestly, you could spend all day just adding these in. I think we are going to finish with that. And then if I move this out of the way, there you go, your super funky card. And then when you just lift it up, you get just going to get those little sparkles from those little gemstones. Isn't that brilliant? That just goes to show how easy it is to make a card using just your adorable scoreable. Yeah. Adding some gemstones, yeah, yep. but they're just bits and bats that you've got. Uh, but cutting dies are fantastic with adorable scoreable. Perfect. They work so well. Yeah. Uh, Natalie, well done. That's some lovely, lovely projects Thank you've done you. today there. Uh, one more project to show you. Um, I should bring oh, this yeah. across. Sheila made this a little mini cake stand. So here we go. This is a little mini cake stand, as you can see. Very, very cute. There are two, there were, it was filled with cakes. There were loads and loads of cakes, but we realized that the cakes had to socially distance. Oh, okay. So now there are just two of them standing uh, standing a good distance apart, which is just like myself and Natalie. Uh, well done, Sheila, that's super cute. But that would be so much fun to make with younger children. For your tea parties, you can make little teacups out of your adorable scorable um, and have a little paper tea party set. So if I show you these little cupcakes that have been made from the Adorable Scorable, it's very, very cool. It's very, very cute. clever. Uh, okay, guys, so we have shown you our gorgeous new Adorable Scorable pattern packs. Uh, we have the polka dots that we've shown you. There's only one sheet of each on here. And even then, you're not getting all of them on here. Move it to the right place, Dan. Um, there, are, there are some more that I'll show you in a second. There's the polka dots that we looked at. We've got the grunge, this gorgeous grunge in Matastic, which is super pretty. The Galaxy Dreams. Uh, we've got these lovely flourishing florals, flourishing leaves that we've got. Um, we've We've got the animal print, there we go, and we've also got this delicate lace. So there's such a cornucopia of colour and pattern and design in here. You can get all of these together, three of each of all the sheets that you can see here. Uh, that's a lot of sheets. Um, £35.94. Indeed, you can buy any of the individual packs for £7.99 or you can get three for £19.98, I think it is. Oh, there we go, it pops on screen. Three for £19.98. Um, you can mix and match if you want to with the earlier launch of Adorable Scoreable Pattern Packs, oh. the first launch, um, of which I think five of them are still available. Watercolour wash has already gone. I think denims might have gone now as well. Um, but you can mix and match up with those as well. Um, guys, remember any order that is placed on our website uh, all the way up until Black Friday is in with a chance of winning your share of this it's fantastic prize. prize. Uh, there's the £500 bundle, which is the top, uh, uh, oh no, sorry, there's the £500 bundle, which is the whole lot that you can see here, and there are two £250 bundles, which are the top two rows. Apologies, some things fell off. We got slightly overexcited during the show today <laughs> uh, and knocked things off. Um, guys, we're going to say thank you very, very much for joining us. We hope you've enjoyed the demonstrations from Natalie today with the gorgeous, adorable, scorable pattern packs. Um, we're going to say a big bye bye from Emily. Bye. Uh, we're going to say a big bye-bye from Natalie. Goodbye. And a big bye from me. And we will be back with you on Friday? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Wednesday. I've lost my days. That's what happens when you're working at home in your underpants. Uh, we'll be back with you tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning because we have... Is it another live launch? Yes. How another exciting. Another live launch. Um, when's Sheila on TV? Today. At... Half four. Half four. Make sure you're there watching a Violet Delights today at half past four on TV, Creating Craft. Guys, we will see you tomorrow. Much love.